Today I'm going to show you how I color grade dark slash night footage using LUTs in Premiere Pro. Now I'm by far not the best color grader out there, in fact I'm still learning a lot, but I know that it's very important to pay attention to the colors in your videos and not just leave them how they are straight out of camera. For my color grading process, I use LUTs because firstly they're more efficient for my workflow and secondly they're great for keeping a consistent look with your images. Now this is all great, but if you've ever tried to color grade night footage, you will know what a pain it can be. So I recently done a project for my friend Ibrahim, who's a photographer, and I shot this whole sequence entirely at night. So I try my best to use light from shop windows and LEDs and all that stuff that was in the environment but at the same time it was very hard to keep the ISO down and to get some light into that sensor. So I got a lot of questions on Instagram about how I color graded it, what the color grading process was. So let's firstly talk about color tones for night footage. There are two types of tones you want to use and that is blue tones and green tones. You may have seen on my channel already but I've released two LUTs that are free so zero monies therefore all the subscribers of this channel but also you can use these LUTs to follow along with the tutorial. Both these LUTs are designed for nighttime footage so one of them has a blue tint and one of them has a green tint okay so you look at one of the shots that i got from filming you can see that it's relatively flat i haven't done any corrections to it and if i add the cool night lut you can see that our shadows become blue and you see that some of these yellows become a bit more orangey so it definitely looks much nicer and you get that kind of night bluish tone look now bear in mind, this is without any further editing. This is just me slapping on the LUT. Now if you look at the through LUT, very different now. It's much more green. We get greener shadows. Now it is a bit darker, so I'm going to just turn it down a little bit. Green and blues. You can see the, the different tones that you get. Now if you look at another shot, uh, where it's still, it's still night, but there's a lot more indoor lighting. So you can see green shadows, blue shadows. Now, if green isn't your thing and it makes you uncomfortable, maybe you can add some magenta and that kind of gets rid of the greens. And then you can probably add some blues and then you kind of kind of swap in the whole thing. And if you look at the footage before, that's what it looked before. And now after, you still get a nice kind of nightish, nighttime look. So you can play around with these LUTs. It's not kind of just fixed with these tones. Okay, so that's the difference between the types of tones that you get and how you apply them with a LUT and how you kind of tweak them a little bit. Now let me show you the actual process that I go through when I'm color grading because that's what you came here for. Okay, so here we have the whole sequence in all its glory with all of its effects. I use the HLG2 picture profile on my Sony a7 III. I firstly add my LUT to give a consistent look to my footage. So I chose a cool night LUT because I wanted bluer tones, didn't want any green tones in this one. So now I do my first pass. So the first pass on my footage is basically me going through all the clips to see if the LUT is overall too strong, not strong enough, or just about right. And I can see for most clips where it goes from light to dark, the LUT is actually pretty good at 100%. If I look at a shot where there's a bit more light, like this one, this one here, ah, oh, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, so from my opinion, this LUT looks fine as it is. And now I do my second pass. So my second pass is where I go through each individual shot and I actually look at how it looks. I might change the white balance, the exposure, um, highlight shadows. Okay, so now if I look at individual shots, for example, this one here, you can see that without the LUT, you know, it looks flat and it looks orangey, but add the LUT, it does help a little bit, but I'm trying to get a night look out of this. And this is probably because of the tungsten street lights that were outside there in the nighttime. So all I have to do to adjust this is just actually increase the blues. If I increase the blues there, I get rid of the yellowy orangey cast that is on the wall. Exposure wise, if anything, I would just probably drop the shadows and it looks a bit more nighty, more dramatic than it did. If I get rid of all the effects, that's before and that's after. Here as well, so we were right beneath a tungsten light and it kind of gets rid of the whole bluish look to it. So let's actually do the same thing. Let's uh increase some of these blues well just drop those blues we're not increasing the shadows so we're not going to really generate any noise because we're actually firstly decreasing the shadows and secondly only playing with color this shot here so like i said i use a lot of the light window light it is kind of taking a bit away from that bluish night tone so if i actually i have to turn this one a bit far back but we start to get some nice that's before 
That's after it starts to look much much nicer in my opinion. So that's the second pass once I've gone through all the footage to make sure that it's consistent. That's it. That's how I color grade night footage. Like I said, it's more favorable to actually tweak the colors more than it is the exposure. Try not to increase those highlights too much. If you've crushed your blacks, you've crushed your blacks. The worst thing you want to do is actually just increase a bunch of noise into your footage. But yeah, that's our final look. If this video helped you, consider leaving a like. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I always read them and consider subscribing for more videos like these. I will leave the links below to everything that I mentioned. So um, I'll see you in the next video.